that's where I got interested in in what's happening with global warming. And uh, prior to that, I said, oh, you know, the science is there, CO2, man may, is making CO2, the temperature's going up. Uh, there's obviously a, a correlation there, at least there was back in the uh, 90s and uh, early, uh, you know, the 80s and 90s. But I was at the Terrell, the Royal Terrell Paleontology Museum in Drumheller, and there was a wall, the, the oh, it must have been about 20 feet high and, and 50 feet wide and long, it was big. And it, on the bottom x-axis was 4.4 billion years that the Earth has been around. And on the y-axis on one of them was the temperature of the Earth. And it was up and down and so on. And then about four exhibits down, they had a similar wall, similar x-axis with 4.3 billion years. The y-axis was CO2. And it was going up and down, and I noticed, hey, wait a minute now, I just looked that five minutes, 10 minutes ago, and I went back and forth between those two rooms at least 10 times my wife will attest. And I, I should have had a cell phone back in those days, this is 2004, I'm taking a picture of it, but I didn't. And I said, wait a minute, these two don't, uh, don't compute, They're don't, they don't overlay uh, right in my mind. So anyway, that's what got me, and I, Tim Ball, Dr. Tim Ball, who had just uh, made a presentation to our Rotary Club, I uh, uh, heard his point of view, and so I contacted them and said, I want some uh, information on this. What is the reality? And that's when I started digging from, thanks to the uh, Terrell Museum. <laughs>